everybody, what is up? My name is Mackenzie. And I'm Jonathan. We are husband and wife, and we'd like to welcome you to Teradice. And today we're taking a look at Battlecrest by Button Shy Games. Now this is the first game we're looking at from them, but they are a company that specializes in these like 18 card micro wallet sized games that just like pack an absolute punch. Like this is it. This, um, is, this, this is, is the whole this game. Is the whole Actually game. there's an yeah. expansion in here too. Uh, <laughs> uh, they have published a number of other games. You might have heard of Sprawlopolis. That's the one that I had heard of. Uh, mm -hmm. where you're building out the city and trying to score points based on your different neighborhoods. Uh, they also have a ton of other games. Rove is another one that is a solo only game where you are a Mars rover that's constantly having to reprogram yourself to do different missions. Yeah. I, I adore it. It's so, so cool. And from those same designers, we have Battlecrest. Yes. Uh, so I'm a big fan of Unmatched. We've also talked about Disney Sorcerer's Arena and some of these other like battle character games. This is one of those, but oh my gosh, I we have some really cool things to say about this. Yeah, and I'm just excited <laughs> to talk about Button Shine in general because like they're not a new company, but they are new to me. And I have just slowly become more and more obsessed with this design concept and it like boggles my mind. So if that sounds like something you might want to play, then just keep watching. All right, so the setup for this game takes two seconds because you put six cards in the middle and six cards to each player and you are like ready to go. Um, but essentially you are a character with a backstory and everything who has a couple ability cards. Uh, now you're going to spend those ability cards to do different actions. You're gonna move around the board and you're gonna flip those ability cards over to reactivate them, giving you new abilities on the backside. Uh, and you're gonna be running around this map uh, that essentially makes up a grid where you can kind of move into any space there. Um, now what's really cool about it is that these location cards have shortcuts that let you jump through them. They have special abilities that they boost. So when you defend in a defensive location, you're gonna get defend bonus uh, or help you move more. They might also have obstacles that make you take damage. Now normally when you tap a card, you get to use its abilities and then you are also uh, basically getting a crest that's now available to you to enhance your other powers. Um, so when it turns 90 degrees, that's now facing right Right side up. Um, so you'll then use those crests to your battle crests so, to be able to enhance all of your other abilities. Is that the title of the game? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> so you're going to move, you're going to tap some cards, or you're going to refresh any tap cards by flipping them over to the reverse side where you will have three or four other abilities. Um, so you're going to kind of go back and forth between the abilities and the crests that are available to you. And oh my gosh, it's mind boggling, like what to do when. Uh, it's such a cool puzzle. Yeah. So, but it also kind of straightforward too. I yeah. say, yeah. But mm -hmm. the, the health I find very interesting. Again, this whole thing is just 18 cards. And so where you would normally like have like a health dial, like as you get hit, like in Unmatched where you like scroll or like the thing you, um, and like Horrified where you mark down your health. In this one, it's just with the cards. So they like show you the grid. And it's like as you move your, um, card that you use in the game down that is lowering your points um and mm -hmm. so i i just find the use of the mechanics with the creativity with the cards as i was saying at the beginning of the video it just has me thinking so much about like design yeah. wise has like, the little chart that says like five four yeah. four, and, three two. and also <laughs> how the grid works like you are just kind of like um, it shows like the the outlines like parts of the grid and but you are, it's very easily easy to like imagine the entire grid there so you see easily like how to move through your spaces and the cards yeah. that are there some of them are obstacles and some of them are pathways mm -hmm. but it's just the creativity of the design um i'm looking forward to playing more of the button shy but i'm very impressed with what i've seen in battlecrest so far with the creativity so there are currently six characters but they have plans of making more we have played with four of them um and there we've played with a pirate that has a, a robot pirate who has a robot friend yeah. that goes around <laughs> and helps him uh, defeat things and then there's also um the warrior she's like a Blonde energy source, energy goddess, goddess with person, the ninja sword, <laughs> ninja sword that like battles people, and then the one I also have played is there's this flying cat. I'm describing these so wrong, but there's a flying <laughs> cat. Here's a picture um, that can fly over the spaces. I was like battle. Forge, who just like has this giant shield that yes. blasts and yeah. blows tons yeah. of damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I think this design duo just has done such a good job with this, and they yes. also did Rove, which I mentioned. Yes, who are the designers? It's the uh, yes. 
it's Dustin Dobson and Milan Zivkovic. Yes. Uh, yeah, they just so much kind of brilliance in each of the ways that the pieces work in this game. The way the locations are very interactive, they flip over, they also have some inherent abilities that uh, you kind of have like your ultimates or your character abilities, but you can use the location abilities instead. Um, so you have some flexibility based on how you position yourself to do different mm -hmm. things. So I think it's really interesting. I know that they have plans to release a bunch of different expansions. So we were sent the uh, heroes from the first expansion set. There are also two like promo ones that you can go get now as well. So that's why there's technically six, not four. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're going to do another Kickstarter or another release of some at some point. What I would like to see more than characters is a new map. Because uh, what I think is cool is you can shuffle and you can draw out the map differently each time. So it will be a little bit different. Um, but I, I just would love to see, you know, something bright orange or something that's a different color scheme, mm -hmm. different kind yeah, of like... environment. Yeah, desert different environment like things. Volcano would be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think it'd be cool to get some variety in that. Yeah. Um, my only, it's not really a criticism, it's just a preference. I, I'm not a huge fan of the art style, but I know that a lot of people mm. are into this art style. It's like this Pokemon, it's, anime it's like anime kind of, Pokemon style. Mm -hmm. um, it's just not my favorite, so I don't find it as attractive as I do other games. Yeah. But he found the art style really cool. So I loved it, yeah. I think it's yeah. a personal preference, but I just want to, that's how I feel about the art. Um, but the game is available if you would like to pick it up. So it's like uh, 12 bucks, and mm -hmm. then you can also do a print and play version for. Three dollars. Yeah. yeah. So I'll leave, <laughs> Try that I'll leave first, links yeah. down below mm -hmm. on where you can go and check this game out. All right, everyone. That is our review of Battlecrest by Button Shy Games. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can know whenever we put out a new video. And we'll see you next time. Happy, Happy playing. Play.